Hi, I'm Tessa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to share with you my top five trend predictions for 2024. Now first on the list is sustainability. Now we've already seen this trend really take off in the last few years, but what is to come is I think there's going to be more true and more conscious sustainability. So this means brands and companies being more transparent and clear with their sustainability messages, but also having really strong evidence and compliant claims to support them. We're seeing a lot of brands really start to consider the whole supply chain as well, rather than just little pieces or components of it. We've seen so many brands start making some really good changes towards sustainability, but it is sure to become a very vital piece of your company's philosophy in the new year or the other years to come. Cosmetic brands must simply have a sustainability statement and also an eco score. The next trend on my list is scalp care. Now we've really started to see this really taking off in the last year or two. And I really think it's gonna to continue to be a very strong player in the, in the years to come. So if your brand features a hair care line or your brand is specifically hair care, it's going to be very beneficial to add one or two scalp products to your range to support nourishing the hair right from the follicle. There are loads of actives out there with some really good efficacy data that you can consider using in your scalp care products to combat dandruff, reducing the number of gray hairs and also reducing hair loss. And you can also have actives in there to boost volume in your hair. A lot of people tend to forget, and I'm guilty of it too, that our scalp is actually a part of our skin. So we really need to make sure that we're taking care of our scalp and adding it into our skincare routine to support healthy hair. Now my third prediction is microbiome focused skincare. Now this has been around for a couple of years now, but we're continuously seeing lots of new research come to play that supports a healthy microbiome. Skin health has never been more important. We tend to create or buy products to combat skin conditions like aging or acne, but we tend to forget that our overall skin health is just as important. So I do think there's gonna be some massive improvements for microbiome skincare in the next years to come. And I also think it's going to really take off. My fourth prediction is skin science. Now, skin science is skincare that combating cell C cells with the use of non-surgical approaches to anti-aging, but also mental well-being. Now this is where we're gonna see menopausal beauty and also skincare for mental well-being really come to light. Since COVID, skincare for mental well-being has really become a very popular trend. Considering we were all in lockdown and had to stay home, skincare became a really important piece of people's daily routine to make themselves feel better, especially being isolated away from the world. There are heaps of actives out there that you can use to combat the symptoms that come with menopause. So when we have menopause, our skin tends to go a bit drier, it loses its elasticity, and it does become a little bit more sensitive to sunlight. So there are lots of actives already out there that you can use to combat these types of things that happen from menopause. There are also actives out there with some really good efficacy data for someone's mental well-being, And I do predict there's gonna be loads more coming to the market. Some really good examples are the Regenite and the Immunite by Lucas Meyer. They have some really good efficacy data. But in saying that, you will need to be very careful and clever with the claims that you're making towards mental wellbeing or menopause. You need to focus more on appearance for consumer marketing, even if the data benefits the mental or the menopausal side of things. Now, my last trend for 2024 is packaging. Now we are seeing so many great sustainable options coming to the market. There are loads of sustainable options out there already, but I do think there's gonna be a massive improvement or boost next year. We are seeing lots of brands opt for a more refillable option to become more sustainable. So they're using less. And we're also starting to see a lot more recyclable options as well. A lot of brands or companies are now opting for less is best, meaning they're getting rid of their secondary or their outer packaging to become more minimal and just having their bottle of serum on the shelf rather than their serum bottle in a box on the shelf. Well, there you go. There's heaps of exciting trends that your brand can take benefit from in 2024. 
Remember to get in early because 2024 is very fast approaching. Make sure that you're thinking outside of the square. Speak to your suppliers, attend the in cosmetic trade shows and also conferences to really build your network and trigger those amazing ideas that really bring out your creative side. And then it's time to bring your visions into existence. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating and also have a happy and safe new year. Bye.